Hi Cricketers, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carrie. Today I'm going to show you how to make a personalized budget binder. You might be asking yourself, what is a budget binder? A budget binder is a little binder full of envelopes that you can stuff with cash. A popular method known as cash stuffing. You start with a budget, divide it into categories using envelopes, then pull cash from the bank to stuff the allotted amount of money into each envelope or category. Those categories can be used for anything like groceries, bills, utilities, and more. This technique helps you keep track of your spending and has helped people pay off tens of thousands of dollars in debt. Jasmine Taylor used this technique to pay off thousands of dollars worth of credit card and student loan debt. In addition to paying off massive amounts of debt, Jasmine also turned her cash stuffing technique into a business bringing in nearly a million dollars a year. It just goes to show you that all you need is one good idea to blow up on social media to make life-changing money. Check out this news article I found about her to learn more. That turned into a living for one woman, her popular cash stuffing videos on TikTok have turned into a lucrative full-time job. And Rhiannon and Allie has the story. What are 1,000 and 500 slips used for. Let's get into it. Jasmine Taylor says she understands the struggles of balancing a budget. I was just side hustling and trying to make it from check to check. I wasn't managing my money. I was struggling. Two years ago, the 31-year-old Texas woman found herself drowning in nearly $80,000 of debt. Right out everything you spend. That's when Jasmine says she learned about cash stuffing, a budgeting system that uses envelopes to divide cash into various spending categories. To stay on track, she started documenting her journey on TikTok. I went from swiping a credit card and not really understanding where my money was going to having to tangibly handle the cash. You can see when you're running out, you can see when you're saving, and it was life changing for me. Over the last two years, Jasmine has been able to pay off the majority of her debt. Hoping to share with others what she learned, Jasmine launched her own company with budgeting tutorials and supplies. Let's talk about how to get started. So let's say you're paid $1,000 for this week. So from 1000 to zero, you give every dollar a place. Once you've created the budget, you then go back, pull out your cash from the bank, and you stuff the allotted amounts into the envelopes. Last year, Jasmine says her business pulled in over $800,000. This coming year, she's projecting up to $1 million in revenue. Some experts say cash stuffing can help you be more intentional about your money. Spending on a whelm is so easy to do. Maybe it's getting coffee while you're out, grabbing lunch, and just spending while you go and not actually being intentional with your spending. You end up spending so much money that you don't mean to. And there's something powerful about telling your money what to do, which again is a budget and cash stuffing goes right along with it. Jasmine isn't the only person cashing in on this cash stuffing business either. I did a quick search on Etsy of personalized budget binders and I found many people selling similar items. This is one of the top selling budget binders on Etsy. They're selling them currently 20% off on sale for $19.20, regularly $24, and that does not include shipping. I checked out the seller store further and they don't sell like millions of different Cricut projects. They're just specializing in budget binders. They sell a couple other things such as labels that you can easily make with your Cricut the same way that you personalize this budget binder. They're also selling printables, which is a great idea because you don't actually have to physically package a product and mail it. They get paid every time someone downloads that file. Selling digital files is such an awesome way to make money because you don't have to go to the store and buy a blank and all these materials and go back and forth to the customer designing products packaging it, shipping it, all you have to do is come up with a file such as an SVG or a design or some people even make fonts and then every time somebody goes and downloads your file you get money. If you want to learn more about how to make your own SVGs and digital files that you can sell on places like Etsy, make sure you check out this video on my YouTube channel about why you need Canva and Cricut. In that video I show you exactly how you can make your own SVGs and digital files that you can sell. If you do the math out with over 3,100 sales, this seller has been able to make a lot of money off of this budget binder niche. I found the same blank budget binders on Amazon for only $6.99. 
Remember, on Etsy, she was selling them for between $19.20 and $24. And that's just that one seller. There's a whole bunch of other sellers with price ranges higher and lower than that. Whenever I sell things with my Cricut machine, I always try to get at least three times the cost of the blank. So if that budget binder cost me $6.99, let's round up to $7, I would want to get at least three times that. So seven times three is $21, which is right around what that seller on Etsy was selling them for. If you're trying to compete with all of these other sellers on Etsy, you could always lower your price to $18 or $17, and you're still making a huge profit especially if shipping is extra. But if you're someone like me and you like to focus on your local community, it's a lot easier to sell things for more because you're not competing with tons and tons of other people who are making the same thing as you right in your own little town. I also like selling locally because then I didn't have to worry about shipping products. Speaking of shipping, this budget binder would be really easy to ship because it's not fragile. It's pretty small and it's squishy, so you could ship it right in a bubble mailer. I love how this project uses a tiny amount of permanent vinyl, which is a lot cheaper to buy than heat transfer vinyl. A 15 foot roll of heat transfer vinyl is $36 compared to a 25 foot roll of Oracle 651 permanent vinyl, which is only $25. So you get an extra 10 feet of permanent vinyl for $11 less than you would pay for a roll of heat transfer vinyl. You do need to buy transfer tape when working with permanent vinyl, but you can reuse your transfer tape. So my transfer tape lasts me literally forever. Personalizing these budget binders is incredibly easy. I'm going to show you how to do that now. Let's start off with the materials that you'll need to make this project. I'll leave a link down below in my video description where you can find all of the materials that I mentioned that you need to do this project. The first thing that you'll need is a Cricut machine. Since the design is small, any Cricut machine will do. You can use the Cricut Joy, the Cricut Explore Air 2, the Cricut Explore 3, the Cricut Maker, the Cricut Maker 3. Cricut has a ton of machines that are really awesome, and any of those machines will work for this project. You can even make this on a Silhouette Cameo or any of the other types of vinyl cutting machines that are out there. I'm using a Cricut Maker to make this project. Next, you'll need some permanent vinyl. I always recommend using Oracle 651 vinyl because I think it's the best and the most durable. However, in this video, I'm actually using rainbow vinyl that I found from the Dollar Tree. I wouldn't recommend selling anything made with Dollar Tree vinyl because honestly, I just don't trust it to hold up as well as better vinyls. But I had this roll of rainbow vinyl on hand and I was making this project for my friend and she really loved it and she wanted me to use it. I told her that I wasn't sure if it was going to last, but let's try it anyways. However, I will say that I actually recorded myself making this project a couple months ago back in March, and I never did anything with the footage until now. So she's had this budget binder made with Dollar Tree vinyl for about three months, and I messaged her, and she told me that it still looks awesome, just as good as the day that I made it. So I was pleasantly surprised to hear that the Dollar Tree vinyl is holding up really well. As I mentioned a few minutes ago, anytime you use permanent vinyl, you'll also need some transfer tape. This is a transfer tape that I love. I have tried so many different brands of transfer tape, and this is by far the best one that I have ever used. The budget binder was found on Amazon. You'll also need a mat. A blue light grip mat or a green standard grip mat works well for working with vinyl. You'll also need some basic tools like a ruler, scissors, a weeding pen, a scraper, and a vinyl trimmer. The first step is to choose a font. You can use one that already came pre-downloaded in Cricut Design Space or you can download a font you love from somewhere else. I have the all access subscription to Creative Fabrica so I get all of my fonts and designs from there. I'm using this font called Thick Font from Creative Fabrica. I prefer to use thicker fonts when using permanent vinyl because I find that they stick better to whatever blank you're putting them on. If you use really thin, narrow fonts, especially on things like glassware that you're washing, they're way more likely to peel off than a thicker font. Thicker fonts have more surface area, so they stick better. And this font is super cute. If you want to download this font that I'm using today and you don't already have a subscription to Creative Fabrica, you can sign up for a free trial through the link down below in my video description. After your free one month trial is over, if you decide that you love Creative Fabrica and want to continue on with your all access subscription that gives you unlimited downloads to all of the awesome stuff on their website, then you can sign up for an extremely discounted rate through the link down below in my video description. 
You can sign up for just $4.99 a month instead of their usual $29 a month, saving you hundreds of dollars a year. And if you don't want a subscription after your trial is over, that's fine too. You can cancel with no questions asked. Once you're in Cricut Design Space, you click text and then type out the name that you want to use. My friend's name is Stevie Lee, but I usually call her Stevie, so I wasn't sure if I wanted to write Stevie or Stevie Lee. So I went ahead and typed out both and I let her choose which one she liked best. All right, Stevie, come here. Which one do you like better? Yes. Which one? Uh, actually, I like Stevie Lee. It looks nice. You ended up going with Stevie Lee. Step two, measure your project and resize in design space. The width of the budget binder is about seven inches wide. I'm making my design five inches wide, so I have a little bit of space on each side. So using the double arrow in the bottom right-hand corner, you can shrink your design down to be the right size. Then in the upper right-hand corner, click Make It. Step three, cut your vinyl. I can see on the mat right here how much vinyl I need to cut. Using my Cricut trimmer, I cut out about two inches of vinyl. If you have the Cricut trimmer, it makes cutting the vinyl really easy. If you don't have that, you can use scissors. Place the vinyl on the upper left-hand corner of your mat. Make sure your color side is facing up. Step four, cut on your Cricut. Next, we need to select the material that we're using today. If you're using regular Oracle 651 vinyl, then I would just click vinyl. When working with Dollar Tree vinyl, I would not use the regular vinyl setting. I go ahead and use the washi setting and make some adjustments. Select browse all materials. Select washi, but don't stop here. In the bottom left, select material settings. Scroll all the way to the bottom and select washi. There's this little bar right here. And I want you to lower it to as low as it goes, which in this case is 70. Then click save and done. Then I want you to change your pressure to less. I've cut Dollar Tree vinyl several times and I've never ever had a problem cutting it with this setting. Now it's time to load our mat into the machine. Click the blinking double arrow to load the mat and then the blinking C button to start the cut. After a minute or two, your Cricut will finish cutting, which brings us to the next step where we unload our mat and weed our project. Weeding is where you remove the excess vinyl that you don't need until you're left with the picture that you do want. Step six is clean your surface. Normally when I'm making things like wine glasses, I would use isopropyl alcohol to clean the surface first to get rid of any oils or debris. However, I'm not going to clean the surface of this blank before adding the vinyl because I'm afraid that if I use isopropyl alcohol on this leather material that it will make it peel. One time I spilled some hand sanitizer on my leather seats in my car and it destroyed them. And my hand sanitizer was made with isopropyl alcohol. So I'm not about to ruin this project trying to clean it. I think the vinyl will still stick just fine. So I'm going to skip this step, but know that normally when you make stuff, you should clean the surface before applying the vinyl. If your blank looked really dirty, you could take um, a coffee filter and some water and wipe it down, but I don't think that's necessary right now. So on to the next step, which is transferring our design using transfer tape. Cut out a piece of transfer tape about the same size as your design and place it over the vinyl. Then carefully peel the transfer tape up. If you're using a transfer tape that's not very good and you're having a problem getting your vinyl to stick to the transfer tape, I would recommend flipping the transfer tape upside down and peeling the backing away from the transfer tape. But this transfer tape that I'm using is pretty good, so I didn't have to do that. Then once your vinyl is stuck to the transfer tape, you can apply it to your blank which in this case is the budget binder. Press the vinyl onto the budget binder and smooth it down flat, and then carefully peel back your transfer tape. And now you're left with your finished project, this beautiful personalized budget binder. 
I'm really impressed with how this Dollar Tree vinyl came out. I love the rainbow effect. I think this technique is really going to help my friend and all of you guys, if you try it out, to stick to your budget and save money. If you want to check out that video that I mentioned earlier in this video about how to make your own SVGs that you can sell, make sure you check out this video about why you need Canva and Cricut. Thanks for watching!